So we're going to start with um, this end range loading technique for the tibia. I'm going to use two belts. One is placed here in the mid tibia and the other on top of the femur to stabilize the femur and the, and the knee. So I've got my orthokinetic stabilization belt or strap. Place it around the table. So people suffering with compartment syndrome or shin splints, this is a procedure that I do fairly regularly on clients that have tibial pain. So we get that nice and tight on top of the tibia. Again, it's called end range loading technique and it's to provide uh, a deep stretch to the, the tibia and the periosteum around the tibia. Try and get some of that beam out of that area. So this one, if you just do it more like that, I'll just go under your leg, okay? Yeah. This takes a moment to set up. seven or eight years ago. It's been a while. It's been a while. So this is her second treatment. Mm -hmm. We had some good success in the first one, but uh, it's time for another another session. I'm going to have you slide just a little more towards me down here. So I've got the foot and the leg basically in a neutral position there. The straps have to be nice and tight. So I'm going to support the knee, and then I'm going to take the uh, distal tibia, and I'm just going to start to lift and watch the patient, make sure she's okay. Are you okay? Yeah. How was that one? Fine. Okay. So I'm bending the tibia backwards for about five seconds like that. And then I'm going to wait for about equal amount of time. You ready for another one? Yeah. Okay. And that snap noise was my hip, not your tibia. <laughs> so the no knows. fractures here. <laughs> <laughs> and again, Adria had uh, compartment syndrome as she had surgery to relieve the pressure, but it ends up with long standing tibial pain. So you're taking the bone right to the end and just a little bit more so it's bending, bending backwards. We'll do one more and then we're going to have you turn okay. onto your side, okay? Now I'm going to try without putting my hand here. Okay. I'm going to lift up on the knee, uh, ankle here. Is your knee okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, how was that in a number of 1 to 10, 10 being a, a huge amount of pain or the most pain you've experienced? Um, probably about a 3. 3, not too bad then? Yeah, no, yeah. not too bad. Way better than that. And I think it's because the strap is wide, so it's not, it's not like a, a, a single point of pressure. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Okay, I'm just going to slacken that off a little bit. We're going to do it in three different positions. So I'm not going to have, if you just turn your body about 45 degrees or so, just so your leg turns, that's good right there. We'll be tighten up the straps. Are you okay if I lift up now on your... So I'm lifting up and now we're bending the bone, the tibia and the fibula. From the lateral side to the medial side, so the medial side is now the convex side. And apparently, it doesn't matter which way you bend it, because on the concave side there is fluid diffusion, and, and on the convex uh, side there is fluid, fluid diffusion. Okay, 
So it takes a fair amount of effort to lift up, but um, I'm just going to raise the table up a little bit more. So it's better biomechanically for me. And we've left enough time in between each lift so that we get the enough time for the fluid diffusion. The edema comes out during the lift and then as you release the pressure, uh, then the blood starts to go in to the, to the periosteum. there that was probably the knee. It was. I was waiting for that to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay that's probably enough on that side. Now we're going to have you turn and go the other way. This one's the most intense, but that's where I get the nerve tingling okay. is on the inner side of the bone. On the inner side yep. there. Okay. What was that out of ten? That's probably closer to a six or seven. Okay. Yeah. Because I know you're you're tough because you were in the army, so <laughs> I have to take that with a grain of salt. We've all all of us kids have a high pain tolerance. Yeah. Everybody has a different pain tolerance, so you have to be careful. And you have to be in contact with your your patient client on the table, make sure they're doing okay. I find that most people do res uh, respond favorably to this uh, technique. I haven't had anyone yet have a negative uh, uh, result from from this technique, although it is possible. Mm -hmm. right? So I do usually between three and five bends in each position. So that's nine to what, 15 of the, of the bends. And that's usually enough. Hold for about three to five seconds uh, each one. And at least equal amount of time, but the time that you're not bending is not critical. It's just enough time it has to go in between each uh, bend. Since this is the worst side, we'll do we'll do five at least. So we've done I think three now. Mm -hmm. And we we'll just wait. <clears throat> Uh, someone fly in from Edmonton on the basketball team uh. to have this procedure done after I treated someone else uh, that was uh, that knew this person with the same technique. That's awesome. I think that's five. That's five. Yeah. That's five. Okay. Let's take the belts off. For safety, this takes a second. Now, are you okay with that procedure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. off and then we'll just see how you're done. It's it feels a lot different than the other leg. And there's a color change all the way down into my foot. Yeah, see that how
How's the temperature? Are you feeling any temperature change? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the right leg is definitely warmer. And it's funny, like the whole, all the way down to my toes is a different, it's color change, right? Yep. With the blood flow. I'm not quite as pasty on the right side now as I am on the left. <laughs> it's definitely warmer through here. Like, yeah. this is cool, right? And then this is nice and warm all the way down. Yeah. And we'll just put a little pain on, or pressure on your tibia to see how that's doing. It's a little tender right where the strap was. Yeah. But everything else is, you can definitely tell a difference in that. I believe that's what you said last time. Just where the strap was, is there was a little bit of sensitivity. Yeah. Well, that's your impact area, right? Yeah. So it's, yeah. Okay, let's get you up for a moment and then just see how it feels to, to wait there. Take it for a test drive and see how that feels. Yeah, it's definitely a different color, hey? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Like self tanner by accident, right? <laughs> That's good. Okay, no pain? No. Okay, great. Okay, I'm just gonna get you to do a little hop on that side. Yeah, it's okay? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, would you like the other side done? Sure. Okay, sounds yeah. good.